It's a major assault on the population. And it's happened all over the world. Australia, Europe, not as severe as the United States, but severe. The effect of that is people are angry, disillusioned, resentful, very easy prey to demagogues of the Trump variety who says, I'll save you, you know, uh, and uh, will and just distrust for everything. Why should I believe what the Center for Disease Control says about uh, the pandemic? They're probably just run by crooks in Washington, liberal elites. I don't believe anything they say. So you have a breakdown of the social order. It's happening over much of the world. All right, so I wanted to continue on with uh, going into Noam Chomsky's appearance on C-SPAN's book TV series, and specifically, I wanted to focus in on here Noam Chomsky going into the social order that has been created due to the assault of neoliberalism. And the assault of neoliberalism has created prosperity for oligarchy and plutocracy while it's created decline in terms of middle class prosperity let alone lower and underclass upward mobility due to the unleashing of the private sector or the business sector or even known as the corporate sector in terms of deregulation privatization, massive tax cuts, massive trade deals that have produced prosperity for the upper class, but produced in certain spaces and regions, middle to lower class outcomes, thus has created economic inequality between the quote unquote haves and or have nots. That's the contextualization of neoliberalism that Noam Chomsky is discussing and more specifically here what he's highlighting is that aspect of neoliberalism has created decay within the social order and therefore you have this sort of emerging emerging conspiratorial right or even sometimes framed as the populist right very much distinguishable from even the Reagans, and very much still distinguishable from the Mitt Romneys or let alone their Lincoln Project Republicans. Therefore, we have this conspiratorial right that is for the most part completely given up on politics and or whatever goes on within politics. But specifically, what this social order in terms of the decay that's found within American social order, specifically what that decay has created is nihilism. And that nihilism is outlined through the sentiments of if in fact, if in fact, nobody quote unquote Washington doesn't care about me, then why in fact in turn should I care about anybody quote unquote Washington? I once cast a vote in the 1990s or maybe in the 2000s or maybe even in the 80s i believed in reagan i believed in bush i believed in obama and so on and so forth but they never really stood for what they campaigned on therefore i don't really even vote anymore we hear such rhetoric routinely so therefore that nihilism pervades pervades the american social order for example, despite record turnout, 80 million Americans didn't vote. And here are some of the perspectives as it pertains to what's outlined specifically by this poll. NPR and the Medhel School of Journalism commissioned, I suppose, to conduct a survey of U.S. adults who didn't vote this year. The Medhel School's graduate students did deep dives into various aspects of the survey Non-voters' reasons for not voting included not being registered to vote, highest 29%, not being interested in politics, second at 23%, not liking the candidates, a feeling their vote wouldn't have made a difference, 
being undecided on whom to vote for. The two highest percentages consist of being not registered to vote as well as not being interested in politics. However, there's a fascinating interplay within both of those perspectives. Not being registered to vote can come from the fact can come from the fact of not being interested in politics. Therefore, we see that dynamic at play in terms of the nihilism and decay within the social order of American politics has been created through the ballot system and or achieving a higher percentage of Americans to actually access the ballot. And the reason why they're not accessing it is largely due to the sort of given up approach that a lot of Americans have occupied intellectually in terms of becoming disinterested with politics in the broader sense. A lack of engagement overall is some of the mitigating factors that are definitely at play as it pertains to some of the components. So for example, non-voters are more likely than voters to say that traditional parties and politicians don't care about people quote unquote like me. The mainstream media is more interested in making money than telling the truth. The American economy is rigged to advantage the rich and powerful, which is the aspects that have been sort of highlighted and put to the forefront of the American economy due to the assault of neoliberalism, which has created a social order as such, as such, despite record numbers in this past election 80 million Americans still didn't show up. That's the social order that has been created. That's the nihilism that's been created due to the assault of neoliberalism, that which is articulated by Noam Chomsky in this specific sequence.